Hello, it's Gil Johnson. Today we're going to talk about the fan clutch. The fan clutch that drives the radiator fan on these Detroit engines that we find in our, our Prevos. There's a lot of things going on back here that propel our coach. We certainly hope that you know, everything works the way it's supposed to and it's going to get us where we're going. Although today's focus is going to be on the fan focus on the fan clutch for a couple of reasons. It's probably the one item that Prevo wished that their suppliers had done a better job of providing a more robust product. It's been through several iterations. The good news is, as a commercial vehicle, Prevo does what they can to make sure that that bus driver, not necessarily a mechanic that's got 50 paying passengers on board, can keep this coach going. So even in the event of some failures with the van clutch, there's a way to manually make this thing work. That's what we're going to focus on. You don't have to be a mechanic. You don't need to know how to do it, but you need to know how to tell a mechanic to do it on the side of the road. Mind you, most of them probably know, but it doesn't take much information to pass along to that mechanic to get you rolling again, so you're not delayed any longer than you have to be. Okay, so here's what we're, what we're really talking about today, is we've got this fan, this freewheeling fan right here, that has a two-speed electric clutch on it. And that clutch does go out. But Prevo did realize that, man, we got to have a way to keep this thing rolling. Again, 50 paying passengers on there, revenue generating bus, can't have any downtime. So if we look at this, and right in the center of this hub, you will find a mounting place for two, three, or four bolts in the center. Not on every one of them. We'll go through the different ones, show you some illustrations of them. But those two, three, or four bolts are the ones that are actually used to go into some locking tabs. We'll get some close-ups on that too, but between the clutch and the fan, there's actually some tabs that you'll put those bolts in that'll lock that, uh, that fan into place. Um, again, that varies with vintage of clutch, and we'll show some illustrations of those so you know what they look like. And Captive bolts are not always right there. They would have been on the older coaches or those that haven't had uh, clutches changed out yet. But so captive bolts either on the, the pulley itself, we'll find them, you know, they could be up here on the frame member or they could actually be a place down on the, the mount um, where the bolts are at and that would be on the newest ones. So at, if this got replaced with the newest generation fan clutch, those bolts would uh, would be relocated because they can't stay in place um, uh, just because of the orientation and, and mechanical size of the new fan clutch. All right, so um, real easy stuff. It might not be in the same place on your coach, but you will have one of these fouls for taking pressure off of the uh, airbags that are used to actually keep tension on the belts in the event that you actually do lock your fan clutch. Uh, before you, go, you stop the engine from running that day, and you're not going to stop at a service facility that has the ability to put the clutch on you, or to replace the clutch, you need to move on. Uh, before, again, before you stop the clutch, or stop the engine, sorry, um, come back here and release the air from the suspension bags. That's going to take the pressure off of the belts and then go stop the engine. The reason you want to do that is preventive, because now when the engine stops, with the bags released, no tension on the belts, that fan will be able to freewheel to a stop and not put immediate pressure on those tabs, likely breaking them off. Uh, just remember that after you stop the engine, come back and turn that back on before you start and head down the road. Well, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, safe journeys, enjoy your travels.